I'm able to weaponize a certain amount of that and turn it into fuel that like burns in me yeah. as opposed to that like messing up my whole entire day and me getting so down and depressed. I just use it as motivation. Yo, what's up? This is G-Eazy and you're watching Billboard News. Hey everybody, my name is Nina Rohani and we are here with Billboard chart topping artist g Easy. How are you feeling today? Feeling good, feeling great. The return of the Mac, RIP to Furl. I promise you ain't nothing like these LA girls. Let's get lost tonight. You could be Supreme Kate Moss tonight. Turn up in the Soho loft tonight. While y'all follow, we just make trends. I'm right back to work when that break ends. You've been away for a little while. You had the deluxe album that came last year and yeah. now you're back. What's been up? What have you been up to these last yeah. years? I guess. It's uh, <laughs> not only was it a tumultuous time for a lot of us, everybody pretty much, you know, you know, I went through some personal things with losing my mom. And also there was just a bit of a, you know, an overall burnout I think I was going through. Mm -hmm. I'd, I'd been going and going and going nonstop for over a decade oh straight. God, I mean, yeah. I'd, but we started aggressively trying to like, you know, tour independently, release music independently. Like it's a grind, you know, to finally getting it going. And then once you, once the iron, you know, strike once, once the iron's hot, whatever the expression. Like, <laughs> yeah. you know, we struck and just kept striking, 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 and just that level of of grind and just like twisting a wet it towel to every to drop. Yeah, it catches yeah. up to you. And I just felt creatively burnt out a bit, uninspired. I just needed that step back. Once that spark hit, it was like, oh yeah, it's over. Like, we found it now, y'all are in trouble. <laughs> Something in my spirit woke back up, like I just sat up, drop an album, hang another plaque up. What are the things that you were like, I want to address with this track? Just human vulnerability, you know? People put artists on this pedestal, you're supposed to like, you know, be this superhero, and invincible, and this, that, and the other, but at the end of the day, man, like, anybody could have a bad day or, or mm -hmm. catch an L. The strength is about standing back up. How is it received by your fans? Man, it's been amazing. You know, it's, it's a weird thing because when you make music, you're making it in the studio with your closest team. Yeah. But when you put it out, all of a sudden, it, it has this life because it's impacting yeah. all these people. And it's one thing for your team to be like, yo, this is a really good song, man. This, this, man, this, this slap, like, this is it. <laughs> yeah, you got one for sure. But, you know, it's like, that's seven people or something like that, right. you know? And there's a lot of songs where, where your whole team is like, this is the slap. This yeah, is shit. You put yeah, it out yeah, before, yeah, like, yeah. this sucks. Right, yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You never know. It's but, very but it puts them out, and then all of a sudden, yeah. like, you know, thousands, thousands, <laughs> millions of people, like, yeah. millions of people are saying, like, you know, this is great. Yeah, yeah. and so that's like, it's a good feeling. You've said you've had this long career. You've had loads of success. You've played arenas. Like, do you want to go back to that? Or yeah. do you see things panning out differently? Where I'm at in my life, my career, that hunger, that, that fire, that, you know, that burning like passion is like very much alive in me. I'm very competitive. I'm very driven. I want my respect. I want, I want my seat at the table. I want, my recognition. Deep, deep down, more than anything, just to live a happy life, I think the most essential aspect is having inner peace and just like self-validation mm -hmm. and not needing it, you know, from the outside. You were telling me about being 13 and that's when you mm -hmm. decided you wanted to be an artist. Yeah, yeah. Blue jeans, air ones, and a white tee. Oh six, hanging out the window like ye. Who are you listening to? Yeah. I like, could, were you trying man. to be a rapper? Or were you trying to be a singer? Yeah. Like, what? What was the vibe? No, I was, I was, I was for sure trying to rap. I started making beats and the beats were trash. I started like <laughs> writing little raps in my like notebooks and I didn't know how to like structure a song or, you know, really even how to count bars. I was just like, <laughs> like, you know what I mean? A little simple, little flows. The music was terrible. And, you know, my image was crazy because I hadn't figured nothing out yet. I'm just 14 in Oakland, just like, you know, in size 36 jeans and big white tees and stuff and just looking crazy. I was listening to, um, I mean, of course, you know, in the Bay, it was all E-40, Matt yeah. Dre, Mr. Yeah. Fab, Keith Sneak, Too Short, that mid-2000s era of high yeah. and everything. Yeah. A big defining moment came. I was listening to the Black Album by Jay-Z, and that's still my favorite Hove album. I was listening to it, and I was like, if we're gonna do this, like, I wanna chase him. Like, I wanna aspire to that. And, you know, it was just that level of determination of just like, that's what I aspire. Mm -hmm. If I could go back in time and tell that 
14 year old version of me mm -hmm. that we'd be sitting here doing this or you know that I'd yeah. done these arenas or that I you know what I mean that's unfathomable yeah you know what I'm saying no, want to quickly touch on the new album yeah I guess tulips and roses is a good indicator of what that album's gonna look yeah. like or yeah man the album feels so good art in any way is like a representation and expression of how you're feeling in in that time and it's just like I had to kind of rediscover myself, rediscover my passion and purpose, and have fun again. Just, just yeah. like, let's get back to basics and let's just have fun. Took a hiatus, I'm like, what did I miss? Shells back in his bag, don't do it like this. Best of luck to you. Well, thank you so much.